Greetings to you. Hello. Okay. And some document to submit to you, lovely. Um, it will be. Uh, I asked you on the email last last uh, month uh, who is paying the housing benefit. Uh, some this you, you wasn't able to disclose it for some reason to me, but uh, we obviously know this is ex ex partner, not Natalia Davidova, and she is uh, terminated her joint tenancy with a new poor city home. So I'm coming to submit you this document, so there is no no conflict of interest in this uh, uh, be benefit payments because I'm obviously paying the benefit, and uh, she is still through the housing benefit, yeah. I already tried to claim a universal credit, but uh, they they replied to me that I am not uh, not eligible for for this. Uh, because that I don't have a habitual residency. Uh, Yes, I know, I know. Uh, I, I, no, no, I pay in the rent. Yeah, that's fine. I employ, I have several employed. The, the thing is that you, you will have to uh, stop this because I try to ask, right? She is not anymore in the how house. But she's still paying the housing benefit there, yeah? Right, okay. What, what is she claiming, partner? Uh, Ex-partner. We, we are not together since 2016. I don't know, lovely. I tried to find out through you. I sent you an email last month and you wasn't able to disclose it for some reason. So you should know it, but don't ask me, you know, you can ex... Well, I can't access universal credit if she's claiming universal credit. I, do, I can't yeah, access that. Yeah, I don't that. know, so I don't know that. How long ago did she claim and, you know? No, the Newport City Homes told me that it's it's uh, from the account of housing benefit. It's something about £385 they received last month. Uh, I tried to stop it already, uh, but I didn't have this confirmation letter yet, so I'm doing it now. Thank you. 
He doesn't drive, so we, uh, um, I pay for everything that he, you know, he goes around in, basically. Um, just, uh, Yes, please. And could you give me your stamp on, on my copy? You, yeah. Receive. Mm -hmm. Good. Because this is her job at the end, but unfortunately I, I have to do it for her, for some reason, you know. It should be uh, already... Uh, she should cancel it already. Yeah, I'm not able to give you any information on it. You know, but, um, yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yes, that's right. Are they going to let you stay there? Because they say that termination is for all occupants. Uh, right, that's, that's, that's very weird to me because uh, she's involved in abduction of children since 18th of December and uh, I will be going now actually to the house. In yes, yes, I'm going now there. The whole tenancy will be ended. Yes. From the 1st of March. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is very weird to me that she, she can end the tenancy for me and my children. Uh, you know, yeah, make no sense. You've got to take up with yes. 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 Welcome from Newport address, Patrick Malnatali, and given notice to date. Uh -huh, yeah, good, thank you.
Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye to you, lovely. Hi there. Yeah, I, I've been called in to, to discuss this, uh, the other other uh, occupant of the tenancy, uh, she, she basically cancelled the agreement, yeah, and I've been asked here to come in to this, discuss uh, something about it with you. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes, thank you. Let me just speak to the lens, in quickly. Mm -hmm. Then I can get you some information and then we'll go and have a chat then if you want. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, you're okay. Yeah. So see, with, with your letter, mm -hmm. there's a termination of the joint tenancy. Obviously, you had a joint tenancy mm -hmm. previously. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, that's the end of the Ex-partner, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what will happen is now, obviously, you're in the property at the moment. Mm -hmm. Still in the, yes. still living in mm -hmm. the property? Yeah. What will happen is, obviously, in, in the letter it says about this, essentially, you contact us. Okay. What I'll do is I'll take some details from yourself mm -hmm. and then get somebody in our letting team to give you a contact. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what will happen is, what size property is this? Is it a two bed, three bed? It's three bedroom three house. Bed, yeah. Three bed house. And it's just you living in the property at the moment. And the children, but they've been abducted on 18th of December exactly by, by Miss Miss Davidova and it's, it's under investigation by, by the central authority. So the, okay, the kids, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, kids are registered and, and, and she cannot unregister them mm -hmm. without without me, me giving a permission. Yeah, so uh, okay. the letter itself was surprising to me that uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you will consider that like uh, I am single, but uh, just because the children are not present mm -hmm. because of the abduction, Obviously, okay. we cannot uh, unregister them from from the address. They are still right. still uh, there. Uh, okay. Of officially. Yeah. Um, and uh, I will hold in the house until until it's sorted out, basically. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's fine. But that need that obviously that situation needs to be self, kind of dealt with separately to mm -hmm. us at the moment. Obviously, yes. Sure. With us at the moment, what we will look to do is totally dependent on whatever the outcome of that is. Basically, if, for example, you were what the class is, you know, non-occupation in, in bedrooms, mm -hmm. then obviously what we would do is look to find you suitable accommodation that would be more beneficial for yourself, mm -hmm. kind of moving forward. How long is that process going to take, do you know? Uh, this, is, this is this is this will be this or? will this will be under the criminal justice system, which which might take take some time, and okay. uh, the, uh, I ca cannot uh, di Fine. tell. It's very hard for me. I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the time <laughs> yeah, frames, yeah, but uh, yeah, the yeah, children will definitely be returned into the 28 Lee close uh, at some point, but uh, hard to tell the time. But you're yeah. not sure exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. Okay. Oops. But it's been dealt with at the moment. Are you liaising with somebody in in particular? At the moment, have you got like a direct contact with them at the moment? No. 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 Okay, oops. fine. But it is an ongoing case at the moment with them. With, with w w w them, you mean? So you said about the criminal justice system and, and obviously you've got this case extending at the moment? 
Yes, for the that's, children. Yeah, yes, sir. That's that's uh, maybe so, such a thick, thick uh, uh, file of documents. So mm -hmm. there is, I'm touch touch with the police, with the central authority. There will be a government's cabinet contacted as well because the abduction being been uh, orchestrated together with the uh, with the social services as well, okay. right? So it's a pretty pretty deep, deep case, and it it will be undergoing. It is undergoing. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's not something which sorted in a, in a day or yeah, week. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. yeah, of course. But it is an ongoing case at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Right. Only because so I can just relay some of this information back to the letters team so they've got an idea of what's happening when they yes, contact yes. you. Mm -hmm. What's your contact number? Yeah, I'll give it to you. I'll get the Alex team to contact you directly mm -hmm. um, and they can just then go through the situation and, and kind of the options that are available at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with this case ongoing, I don't know how long we can kind of support you staying in that property at the moment but obviously we will look to see if we can get you into more suitable accommodation whilst this is pending mm -hmm. is that all right yeah the su suitability it, i think it's it's uh, it should be coming coming from the request is suitable no it's from my end no, not from your end mm -hmm. you but, but in my opinion but it's it anyway be, on it will be yeah, your yeah. decision at the end i know it will be your mm -hmm. but uh, i am not willing to unregister the children from the address mm -hmm. and uh, that if you will be neglecting that the abduction the case of abduction if mm -hmm. the house in the new proceedings will be neglecting it that's uh, up, up to you guys. Yeah, yeah. I cannot influence that. That's the... nothing in that we would deal with. That would, that would be externally, and whatever decision is made, that end would then be the kind of what we would have to follow yes, through yes. our, our mm -hmm. side. Um, but like I said, we, we don't know where we are with that. Obviously, the yes. same as you, you're yeah. not aware yeah. of where Understand that is at that. the moment yeah. as well. So yeah, obviously we would it would be pending sort of mm -hmm. the outcome mm -hmm. of that as well. Mm -hmm. But obviously in the meantime, obviously you're in a three bedroom property at the moment. You know, we, there might be something that we could look at that we would be able to find you kind of suitable accommodation, which works with yourself as well. Mm -hmm. um, but we can we can kind of have that conversation and cross that bridge as and when it comes. Yeah, to I'm not not, not yeah. willing to 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 move. Uh, yeah, the children will be returning, as I said. So uh, downsizing. There's no time scale on that, though. No, no. it's not about time scaling. Uh, the children need; they have their own needs. Uh, mm -hmm. Samuel is already 11, they have different uh, ages, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Samuel already have to be separated in, in his own room mm -hmm. uh, and Patricia in his own room and I, I need at least this three bedroom house for them. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this su suitable what you mean under it, not sure, but... Uh, well, obviously at the moment the children are at that property and depending on time scale and things like that, obviously we don't know what the time scale is, mm -hmm. but obviously at the moment the children are living there um do you do you claim the child benefit for the child or does does your ex-partner uh not sure if she's claiming it probably she's claiming i'm not claiming you're not claiming that okay yeah. it's just obviously with the benefit side of it it might might be difficult because obviously your income might be a bit lower if you're not claiming the child benefit and things for the children. Mm -hmm. So it's obviously affordability wise for you living in this property as well. Yeah, I'm self-employed. Yeah, I'm self-employed and it's no, okay. no problem about that for the as you can see I still pay in the rent yeah, obviously it's, I have, it's I been, have a, I have another look. You have haven't looked no, yeah, but no, no. yeah the colleagues know if you will open the files so Absolutely, it's yeah, not yeah. a question of the fine finances. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. fine. That that's fine and that's something that we'll we'll look into anyway and yeah, we can yeah. explore mm -hmm. those options for you. But I'll just get one of the colleagues in the letters team to contact you. Yeah. But whether it be today, it might be Monday now, mm -hmm. uh, but they'll contact you and they'll just be able to go through all the different options and kind of where we are. Right, right. Things. Will they contact through the appointments to come here or through the phone? Or they'll, they'll ring you first and then if you want an appointment, they, then they can, you can arrange that with them. To, yeah, to yeah, all right. You how you mm -hmm. it. Yeah, all right. All right, is that all okay? Right. We'll keep hold of that though, all right? Yes, definitely. And we'll get somebody to contact you yeah. through course, all right? Yeah, thank you very much. That's okay, no problem at all. Want to get a bit of information. Mm. You know, yeah, pre pre right. information. Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> it's obviously need a, need a time for you as well to to digest yeah. this yeah. thing. So, yeah, thank you very much. All right. Goodbye, Goodbye now. Take care. Base number three. This is the most urgent. The most urgent for me, actually, this one is because. Might cause me like a little bit financial damages, which I am cooperating with the zombie apocalypse, the HVO. We were in London yesterday, already received a payment from them. I 70 quid as compensation for yesterday and the blood. Blood is not for sale, but the time is. 
so uh, this is the termination is different I have a problem to get my brief uh, medical summary from these guys it's a little bit incompetency this and they cannot even tell me in what time frame they should be giving it they formally requested access to the medical record uh, Dr. Edwards I would like to submit this formal request to see my medical records under my data protection act 1998 I wish to inspect the records of the time frame of my residence of the United Kingdom 2009 till today 10th of January so we have uh, 7th of February this was stamped this was stamped on, on yeah so 10th of January over a month and I still don't have even the brief medical records which been already requested by the HVO in a, on three occasions let's try to ask them I already called them to mo today morning should be calling but they don't know when so let's just ask you give nothing for the asking don't you ask is for free Post. I, I neglected the post in some of these documents lately. The termination of joint tenancy will be posted today. Formal request. Some bullshit from the job center as well. Greetings. Hello. I have some issue uh, with this. I called to today morning to you. Yeah. Uh, ask for the medical brief, medical summary. I need it for a H vivo. Uh, it's already the third time they they call me. And this is this is. Uh, I submitted this on the 10th of January. So over a month. And today, someone I don't know if I could talk to you. What's someone told me. H H vivo. This and it's a. Third of December '85. Malik Patrick. So it's way too long. It takes way too long, and they need it by the 13th of December. The the brief uh, medical summary. Otherwise, I will not be able to particip participate in the screenings. Yes, thank you. Some quick jobs today here, really just a submission of documents. Hello there. Hi, yeah. um, this is the request you put in, obviously. It was, you wanted it from 2009 up to today's date. Well, obviously, that takes quite a while to do. It takes up to 30 days. So, obviously, it's, you know, it's not quite ready yet. Yes, yes. But uh, I tried to explain on, on already through the phone many yeah. times that I, I need both the, the brief uh, medical summary and and this is the full historic record basically this is two 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 things which i need because the hvo in london i which i am going to participate in a screenings they need just just the brief summary basically they told me just a print out which i can then send them uh, through the email and this is the medical h hvo with it no, no, they don't even have a contact on you pro probably. Uh, they've, they've written to us, I've sent that off. So that for me it's good in the night. Have you bought any ideas? I've, I've done it. We had a... Of him, yeah. Did, had a letter. Can, you, can you give me some confirmation that, that they, it's been sent, sent off to them then? Because they didn't even tell me. I've been with them yesterday. I had a screening yesterday and they didn't even tell me. They actually asked me again. 
Because our computers were down at the time, look. So I. Uh, what date is it? I can play it at the time our computers were down, so it was a log, but I know I've sent it off. So I've done it. Do you have at least the copy of that email that it had been sent off to their address? So, so I can. It wasn't. It wasn't. Just mention the news. It's a very good moment. I don't know when she's ready, okay? Let me see if I got a copy of what I sent them. Yes, please. What's the picture of the Yeah, thank you. And the name? What was the address? Oh, he's done it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gone, Zaya. I was like, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, I've just done it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Well, you're so glad. <laughs> Sorry, What's your date of birth? Oh, I'm going to say that it's from 1980. And the name? 07. 070 from 1980. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Can you tell the news from your account, Stan? Let me see that. Just a second, let me just check this. In okay, so obviously no one moving on phone. <coughs> Yeah. If there's anything you want in particular, make sure you state it, otherwise they do it all for you and it'll take a long time. So if there's only a certain bit you want, just let them know. I just wanted for them. So, yes, I, I, I want to check. Okay. You want to write and record this all. That's fine, then that's not a problem. So you put in there what you want from us. Okay. Okay. I have messages in there, so I'm just waiting. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll give you a prescription for my card. My card. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
to wait a long time? You normally have to wait a long time. You'll find something, yeah? This is what I said mm -hmm. to them, okay? And this... And that was the address I sent it to, so they obviously haven't got it then. That was the address I sent it to, okay? Yeah, Asia, yeah, that's yeah, them, yeah. that's them, that's them, definitely. This is what I sent them. You can have a copy if you want to what I sent them, and I'll have to send it again, always. Um, no, no, you don't need to do anything no. until I have this. Uh, it's all, all sorted, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That's why I sent them. Yeah, when did you send it, lovely? I can't because our computers have been roughly been estimated. Uh, it was uh, this week two, probably. No, about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, you Thanks. already sent them. Thanks. The br brief, brief summary. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. great, great. Thank you very much to you, though. Okay. Yeah. No goodbye. Problem. Man. <laughs> Are you joking me? New thing for me. Problem. Schizophrenic disorder. Review. Each, each, each sore throat. Symptoms. Schizophrenic disorder. 16 May 2007. Schizophrenic disorder. Well, yeah. Definitely. I, I was on spot when I said that uh, next week we will be doing this uh, re review and revisiting re -refer reference to the uh, psychiatrists. Dr. Davidson, we have something to sort here, definitely. This is what they are sending to the people which I try to cooperate without a justification and without even a signature on this, uh, this uh, thing. No one signed anything. So either they are willing to sign something or they will be deleting it from the, from the databases. That's for sure. Lovely. That make my day, man. <laughs>